YouTube team so I'll hear what's going on. Um new video here. Um we start making some EDC videos, but I just want to show you something that I created off. I was I get a I'm part of a, a website and I get an email from them every week. It's called uh Instructables. Like the people build stuff that put it up there. And um this project only cost me uh four dollars. I have the receipts to prove it. Um except for the keys, I already had the keys and the drill bits and the drill and everything this was just things that I had to go out and buy which was washers and the hex key what this is is it's a hex key with a with keys on it and the keys slide out like a multi-tool and then you can use the key and uh, I currently only have four keys on here uh, house two lock two gun locks and a uh, safe which is this one but um... this project was pretty easy i'm gonna break it down pull it apart and what it is is just a super cheap project um... i spent three bucks for the rubber gasket washers and washers i got those from the value home center and i got this hex key um, fold out piece, this blue piece with the hex keys at the dollar store. They had different colors, blue, red, and everything. I grabbed blue. Um, they had like yellow and red and black, I think. And uh, this is actually rubber. But I mean, it's kind of cheesy. It's not cheesy at all, actually. These are metal screws. But um, there's just a knot on the other side. But I'm going to break this down and show you how to make them. So what you're going to need, as you can see here, I had, I got four, sorry I can't, this camera sucks at close up stuff, but um, I got four of the rubber, black rubber gasket ones that are on each end, I got four of them, those are on each end, which were 35 cents a piece, that came out to a buck forty, and I got eight of the metal washers, which were 17 cents a piece, which came out to a buck thirty cents. 36 and um, subtotal was 276 tax 24 cents came out to three even paid with a ten dollar bill if you're wondering and then at the dollar store I got this for a dollar you know there's tax eight cents but I'm just gonna round it down to four bucks um, but for inexpensive inexpensive you're not your keys aren't jingling you don't hear anything keys. I mean, other than, yes, I can't fit my flashlight. I didn't put my car key on there because I don't feel like drilling it because I don't have an extra. Well, I do, but this is like another a nice rubber one. That's just an extra key. And then a bonus car here. And my uh, Jeep. Thing and my little mag light solitaire here. And I wish I could have put in here. But anyways, go ahead and break this down. What you're going to need for tools is a drill bit, a drill, and a Phillips head. Go ahead and take this apart for you. And you gotta make sure you can align, you have to align the key up, keys up to each other where they can um, they cannot hit each other when they're in there together. Just get the other side here. I just pull this apart. Um, okay, so you can see I have four keys here. Let me lay it all down. Four rubber washers. I forget what size these washers are. But take the bolt into the store. So you can see I got four holes here, four keys here that I drilled a hole into. I just took the bolt and matched up. I forget what the with the drill bit ended up being, but drill the hole in each of them. It doesn't matter where you put it. Just make sure you don't bend the keys, which I did to this house key. Look at how bent that is. But it still works. And you don't want to end up snapping them. These are the four rubber washers. And these are the eight um, metal washers. So then what you're going to want to do is on the one side, well first match up your keys, I had them um, 
just as you see, hold on a second. Just as you see, so they're nice and matched up and they're equal on each side. And then what you're gonna do is and the bolt, go ahead and drop one rubber, one metal, one key, two metal, two metal. Another key. Make sure you're grabbing the key from the same side so you don't mix it, mix it up. Another key, another metal, and then a rubber. And that will make it so it can you can turn them easily and everything. And then when you're, what you're going to want to do is grab the other end, put it face up, drop in a rubber washer, drop in one metal, and make sure you get your keys all lined up to the same too. Um, when you flip this over, it will be upside down. So you're going to want to put this key on first for me. <clears throat> two metal. Two metal. Another key. <clears throat> another key. Metal. Rubber. Now if you have other keys, you know, change it up. Sorry, I only had four keys, so I can't really help you out, and then just plop them on top of each other, and um, screw them down tight. What you, What's nice is about the rubber is you can screw them down, still holds it tight, but it still gives some leeway. Um, just do an equal on each side. Don't have to crank it down too hard, because remember they're rubber. But other than that, just make sure you give them a nice, firm... I make it so that the bolt is just sticking out on the end. Just a little smidge, like that. I can't even see it on the end, but this end maybe. Just a little smidge. Make sure your keys are lined up perfectly, and then you can uh, just flip the key out. Now the key is still in there, you have a key, and you can use your key. No jingle jangle. It's maybe a little bulky for some people, but I mean. No jingle jangle. Guys, thanks again. This is Team Survival EDC. New series I got going here. Uh, I got more videos to come to improve and to um, show you what to add to your EDC. Coming up next, um, I know I already have a review on this fl flashlight, but I'm going to have some flashlight and light EDC videos. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Team Survival.